In the previous tutorial, we discussed creating a new document. If for some reason you close that document or you're coming in at a different time, you can go ahead and look at the previous tutorial, get to the spot where we are where we have an 8.5 by 11 inch RGB document. Alright, so in this tutorial we're going to talk about the basics of the Illustrator interface. First thing is, as we talked about before, this is the artboard. This little tab is our current document that's open. You can have multiple documents open and just like a website you can have multiple tabs. This is currently not titled so it says untitled. We're zoomed in at 94 percent and we're in a RGB color space. And GPU preview just means that the graphics processor, the video card, is helping to render the image. But the key thing is the name of your document, how far you're zoomed in, and that we're RGB. Up at the very top, because we're on a Mac, you have your menu bar all the way up here, and there's a lot of menu options. If you're on Windows, this bar would be attached to the application frame. But on a Mac, it's always at the top, and you know what application you're working in, because it's right here. And anything having to do with the file, like open, close, save, right, it's under there. You can explore these later on. I don't go into the menus all that often. I like to use shortcut keys, and we'll discuss those as we work so you know how to work smarter. Here we have the options bar. All right, This one is very, very useful. So based on the tool you have selected, or if you have something drawn on the artboard, what's selected there, this options bar here is contextual. That means it changes. The options change based on the tool you have selected or the object that you've drawn on the artboard and that is selected. So for example, I have the selection tool or the black arrow and you can see that it has these options. If I were to switch to the type tool really quick, you'll notice over here there are some things that changed. Okay, It's contextual, it changes. And that happens with all the tools. And you notice I just switched from the selection tool to the type tool. This toolbar over here is the, or that bar is the toolbar. That's what it's called. And you'll notice very subtle, thin lines on the toolbar. Tools are broken up into groups, kind of based on their primary use. So these top tools here are selection tools. These tools are drawing tools. These kind of modify um, objects that you've created, and that's things that you create in Illustrator called objects. And then there's some other kind of areas here. We will use all of these. Down here is very important. This is a fill and a stroke. And when we get into drawing with Illustrator, we'll talk about the importance of those. So we have our options bar that changes based on what's selected. We have these various tools in the toolbar. You'll also notice that some of these tools have a little tiny triangle in the bottom right. That is telling you that there are other tools hidden beneath that top tool. So if I hold down on the mouse on the type tool for a couple seconds, this window pops up and then there are a list of other types of type tools. And if you notice, there's a letter or there'll be a key combination inside of parentheses. That's the shortcut for that particular tool. Let's say I was working, I wanted to work with shapes, all right? And I can hold down on the rectangle and I can have all these, but I know that I'm going to work with all these different shapes. I can pull this off. I can click on that little arrow and that pulls this window off or this little tool submenu. And here are all the tools that were hidden underneath that triangle. So if I know I'm going to use a, a collection of tools over and over again, I would pull that off. But for now, I'm going to close it. I just want you to know that it's there. And I'm going to go back to my black arrow or my selection tool. When I hover over it, you'll notice in the parentheses it says V. So V for the selection tool. Then the last thing we need to cover in the overall interface is this stuff on the right, our panels. All right, I don't really care about libraries right now, so I'm going to close panels with these kind of two double arrows. And then I want to open up the panels because just with these, I don't like working with just these icons. It doesn't give us enough information. 
There's a lot of useful stuff. We use panels all the time. So we want to open this up. Double arrow to expand the panels. And you will notice there are a bunch of different options. So there's different panel groups with different tabs, right? Different tabs, which gives us different stuff. We are going to rearrange and make our own custom workspace coming up in another tutorial. But for now, I want you to understand that if you have an object like, let me just take this square for a second. I'm going to draw a square out. And I'm going to fill the square with black. So I'm going to switch the fill and stroke. And I'm going to switch back to my selection tool. I have this object or this rectangle created. And I can do different things to it. I can change the color. I can change the style of the line on the outside. There's all kinds of stuff we'll learn in these panels based on the type of object that we have selected. So lots of times you have a tool to create something. And then once you select it, you have panels to modify it. Okay. If you notice, and, and as far as the tools and stuff, we're going to do learn those in upcoming videos. And we're going to redo and learn more about the workspace panels in another one. I'm going to for now, click that, get rid of it back to a, a beginning workspace or a clean artboard. And that gives you a quick overview of the Illustrator interface.